expats going crazy. Um, there's a lot of expats that actually have things like uh, manic depression and stuff anyway, bipolar, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm not even getting into that debate because I've said before, I, th I think if people have severe issues like that, the Philippines isn't the safest environment for them. But the thing I'm talking about today is the people that get ground down over a period of time. Um, now, there's several things that are key elements to this. Um, one is monetary. There is no safety net in the Philippines. So if things go badly wrong, people can become very stressed out. Um, I've seen several people break down completely over a period of time. Uh, next thing is the, all the irritants. The open sewers, the, uh, the smog, loudness, a lack of privacy, people doing stupid things to your equipment and stuff when you say don't touch it. All those little bits and niggly bits that get under the skin over a period of time. Coupled with other stuff going on, maybe your partner gave a lot of money to family or um, somebody bothered you, borrowed your car without your knowledge, but your wife said it was okay. You know, all sorts of little bits and pieces. What happens is you're not getting the social connect you need, the vent. The vent is probably the, the biggest thing here. Um, with other expats, you can vent because you compare notes. Like I said before, um, I had Ian come and meet me. I think it was a four-hour round trip for him in the UK because he wanted to come and talk to me about the Philippines. Not uh, Well, they wanted to thank me, but it also he wanted to talk about the Philippines to me because unless you've been in the Philippines, you wouldn't understand it. Um, the people that he knows generally would just think he was crazy or something. But a lot of stuff happens in the Philippines, which if you've been there, you understand it. If you haven't, you just think, this guy's either nuts or lying. But that's a prime example. He went two hours each way just to meet me so that he could thank me for uh, dealing with his case, but also um, to vent a little bit of all the frustrations and stress he's been under. In the Philippines, you often can't get that because if you're living in an isolated community with no Westerners or you don't meet regularly with Westerners, you've got no ventilation. And as such, it can build up over a period of time. You know, that motorbike goes across, goes past at 6 a.m. every morning. You're sort of, that's what, that's what, that's what. Have you ever spoke to him and said, look, fix your exhaust. It's, it's doing my head in. I'll buy you an exhaust. Just put it on there. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not being funny. You've got to make the best of it. There's no point saying, well, just fix it. It probably hasn't got the money. The motorbike was probably new in 1982. Um, you've got to adapt to the environment you're in. But some people start to deteriorate over a period of time because they can't talk to anybody about the problems they're facing. They can't go, oh, the business really crashed this week, blah, blah, blah. Can't talk about relationship issues. Can't talk about the the motorbike that keeps driving past at six a.m. They start to build up uh, problems inside because they haven't got a ventilation. I'm not saying you need a psychiatrist or something, but it's like a social worker I met who was in. Uh, he does Thailand six months of the year. We were talking because we both contract. And he was saying he couldn't do more than six months in Thailand because it starts winding him down, you know, grinds him down over a period of time. So that's why he does six months in, six months out, because he can't be there all the time. He loves the country, but there's a lot of stuff that is just gets under the skin over a period of time. I mean, here in Spain, I would have to say things that break is my biggest frustration. Um, I bought a fan the other day and it's got a bulldog clip. I clipped it on and basically the clip snapped because the spring's too strong. That stuff irritates me because I literally left the shop two minutes ago. <laughs> but generally everything else is not a problem. I mean, you, Spaniards are generally noisy. They, I mean, um, I try not to go too much off tangent, but it's why I don't film in restaurants at the moment because they're so loud. They're louder than me talking to the camera. Um, but anyway, 
So these things will grind you down over a period of time. So you need to find a way to vent. And the easiest one is actually meet with other expats. And I know a lot of people say, oh, I don't want to meet expats. I don't want them. I can't stand them. They're crazy, blah, blah, blah. Look, everybody will say the same about you because they don't know you. You've got to find people you can uh, connect with. I speak to some guys online. Um, in fact, some guys I've never even met in person, but we're scattered around the Philippines. That is a bit of then because what happens is somebody say, oh, my wife did this today, and it's like, uh, it, you know, and you get that bit of banter between guys that keeps you sane. <laughs> and this is the point, because I've seen some stuff online lately, and I can see the frustrations of somebody that's, maybe needing a break um because what happens is you start getting ground down then you hate everything about the philippines you hate everyone in the philippines you hate everything um because you don't recognize the problem is yourself it's the philippines won't change the philippines is the philippines so you can't call it the problem when it's normal there um you're the person that has gone there so there's only one person that can be in it uh having issues and that's only the you know like i said it's nothing personal but everything gets ground down with something but my concern is is when people sit there and start getting really negative on everything and it, and it, it just they're starting to lose it um i think that's the simplest way of putting it they're losing the plot um, and I just want to share that because if you know people are starting to go that way, it is worth just like pointing them in the right direction to the airport. Because when you go back to the West, your batteries recharge quite quickly because you can go to the local pub, talk sports, talk football, talk politics, do whatever it is that you need to like connect with. And you'll find a lot of people feel better for that. And this doesn't always affect everybody, by the way. It just affects some people. Um, and I think that's the important bit. It does affect probably only a few people. Um, a lot more than people realize. Because like I said before, um, hardly anybody that I met, well, moved to the Philippines at the same time as me in 2007, is still there. You know, a lot died, a lot have left, a lot got sick of the country. Um, but a lot of it is because they let stuff get on top of them where you need to adapt and I mean, I mean for example the Fiesta Minglanilia does my head in um, I actually go and contract that month because <laughs> it, it literally does go on for the month um, so I just escape the country um, I can go and work instead of getting annoyed and frustrated I just go and work if I was actually there and couldn't do that, I would actually have to go and find somewhere else to stop, a nice quiet hotel or something. Because um, it's, it's, for me, the frustration is you get uh, music from three different angles, all different music, and they, it's a, a volume level that shakes your eyeballs when you're asleep. <laughs> it's just terrible. Um, but at the same time, I know that drives me nuts, so I just go, look... Okay, I'm going to go to work. I'm going to go and contract for a month or something. Because there's no point in me being there. I won't sleep for the month. I can't work for the month because the noise level is too high. Um, so you adapt to it. And that's the important bit, adapting. If you don't adapt, that's when you get all these things build up. Because you go, okay, I'm going to work. I need to work, blah, blah, blah. I can't work because it's too loud, blah, blah. And it's like, what's the point? You know you can't work, so don't. Go and do something else. Book yourself into a hotel, have a treat, go away for a fortnight or something. Hotels are cheap enough. If you're staying for two weeks, here's another bit of tip. If you're staying in most hotels for more than 10 days, they'll discount you. Um, so there's always something. There's always an answer. Could road trip. Road trip's pretty good. Um, I find myself there going to Negro's Island was like really cool um also going over to Bahol because it's different from Miglanilia, it's different from Cebu 
he's same with going up to uh, San Omejo um, and whew, even Toledo, which is just the other side of the, the island. Just traveling around can have a huge positive impact. Anyway, thanks for watching. Yeah.